Very good morning, Patreon subscribers. Hope you're doing well. We've got a pulse beats later, so I'm expecting the dollar to strengthen quite a bit. Um, we have to remember, it's very important, is that we have a very small chance of a 50 basis point hike at the next Fed meeting. That's a big deal for the dollar. So from a fundamental view, the dollar should strengthen. And so this is what I'm thinking, is that this what we're seeing right now on a lot of the currency pairs are uh, fake right now. We're going to actually see a dollar strength emerge. And if Powell is going to be hawkish, this is going to, um, this will increase. If this increases, it's going to mean that the dollar is going to get quite a strong footing against its riskier currencies. Um, so do keep an eye on that. That's your URL, which is in the um, pinned messages in the USD section in Discord. So bear in mind that. So I, I am expecting a strong USD later. We come back to Metro Trader 4. Gold, we got these strong resistances, and they're from the better volumes. So strong selling, strong selling, and we created one here. Actually, that's new as well. Uh, so that is very, very interesting. Um, we are a sell at the big picture, and we just created a strong selling volume here, which we can see is here. So we really should be at the SLC. So I think what's happened is that this, they're just waiting for this to get larger and lower. Uh, because this we should be going here and they might just be buying their time waiting for the chicken to get a little bit uh, more fat to get fatter uh, before they um, eat the chicken so I think that's probably what's happening this is all fake and we should be coming down to the SLC let's draw the box and then we can come back to the box tomorrow can't we so we're definitely mapping that one and so we should be below this we shouldn't be above because this is institutional sellers and this is the these are the big uh, the big boys with their big pockets, and they sold here. So this is likely fake. If we get an interchange here, that's just going to be an extra additional. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, confirmation that you know we're actually it's going to be a selling off. Uh, so be careful here. We've got some strong resistances now. We are sell here. If we have an interchange here, then uh, it's going to be quite bearish. And I think we'll probably be getting the SLC. Um, not sure how many stops are below. That's the trouble. I mean, there's one down there, 1822. It's not very large, though. You can see how large that is. Zoom in a bit. Uh, yeah, so substantially larger than that one down there. It's half the size. So perhaps it's just waiting, Biden, its time. So I'm expecting a strong USD later. Uh, due to the fundamentals, if we look at the sentiment, um, dollars now mixed. It was over there, and now it's over here. Uh, so keep an eye on that. The bubbles are moving so erratically nowadays, uh, we have to be really careful. We had a big reversal on the Aussie. It was over here, went to the RBA, and I think what happened is that they were long, they took profits, and then they sold. By them selling it, it's pushed that bubble across here. And we can see the performance of the Aussie uh, very strong because of the sentiment. So that's what it, what's happened is that they took profits, perhaps too early you could argue, and then selling it en masse has then caused the bubble to move over there. So basically they took profits too early, uh, which is a typical retail uh, mindset. So that's that. So that's what's happened. So we have to be careful with the bubbles. We're seeing lots of reversals, very erratic, extreme moves. So just be careful. Um, so that's what I think. This is this is possibly okay. This work above, and we should be at the SLC. But they might be wanting to get it a bit larger and lower. Uh, see, pound is very weak. But we had the heads up last week. If you remember, they went long on GU and GJ at FXCM. Hopefully, you saw that. I did make a you know I did tell you guys about it in the daily bulletin. Monthly pivot here. Um, weekly open here. <laughs> Because we've got the WO as a resistance, we have to be targeting the SLC. For a longer term look, you want to be looking at the HR short. And it's a long way away, but it's possible. And um, we have to remember the macro stuff as well, because the IMF projected the UK would be in recession. And it might just be that the, um, the BRE just might want a softer pound for um, our exports. So they might be not too... Uh, they might not mind too much of a softer pound, um, so they might not have to step in. 
But if it does go into free fall mode, then they'll step in, obviously. But a softer pound isn't that bad for the UK because we export a lot of goods. So uh, we might not have to see an intervention unless we have, of course, we completely puke. Um, there's your monthly supports, which is a long way away, really. <laughs> but don't forget, so that's where your short-term targets are. 119.80, 120.80, and there's your longer-term targets, HR weekly targets okay and uh, keep an eye on your daily open and your weekly open they set the precedence for the bias so we can think of them like pivots where we open if we're below it's quite bearish for above we'll target the SLC above okay uh, it's GU so we'll look at AU because obviously the RBA and um, GA is fallen a lot as well one one of the subscribers is trading uh, pound Aussie and is making quite a lot of money uh, that's good for him, so that's cool. A monthly pivot's there, so that's of note. Uh, SLC, uh, 70 40, that was an FXCM alert. I wonder what that was. Check that out. No, no, I won't bother check. We'll, we'll focus on this, then we can have a look at that later. Uh, 6850 is the one below. Weekly open, target the SLC. Above the weekly open, probably target ATR long. I don't know if we want to be really going beyond the ATR long because that's your weekly value so that stop might be safe but there's a lot of stops up here and we've taken out a huge amount here if you remember yesterday's video there's a big block <laughs> and uh, that coming down to the, all those stops out huge block and so that's really cruel uh, but that's just like before and after in fact I could show you that while we've got some time um, go back in time maybe yeah, what we're interested in is these uh this block here, okay? Uh back. There. They probed all of those stops. Go back even more. Yeah. There we go. So we now we're going forward in time and they're gonna get probed. We're here, okay? And I was saying yesterday these are gonna get taken. And so uh, what happened? We can see <laughs> them getting absolutely absorbed and liquidated those tops uh, so that's really horrible and painful but that's just what it is and they're getting completely rinsed it's pretty horrible isn't it and up we come and because uh, the current positions are now switched because of those guys got out of the casino it's now creating a support uh, so that's that uh, <laughs> that's really horrible and going forward we are now at present time so that was a big old stop probe basically uh, so that's that's just a little bit of information there, how to use it, go back forward in time, which is quite cool. Uh, one above should be safe because it's above the ATR long, and I think possible 68.50, but we want to wait for the weekly open to break first. So you're looking for a 41 pip profit and your stop loss. Well, it's tricky, isn't it? It could be there at that low. could even be at the weekly open. You could have like a very tight stop and get a nice R. Uh, let's look at EU. Um, look at dollar yen, dollar Swiss, dollar CAD. Uh, so, um, yeah, well, they've gone long, so, you know, that's obviously quite bearish. There's monthly pivot. Uh, HR long is fairly close, and the stop loss cluster is fairly close as well. Uh, 106.88. It might want that. It just might want that. It's fairly large. 1.96. And then we're going to come up to the monthly pivot. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's what I think is going to happen. We did make a buy on this, on the FXEM, but it does had gone sideways. So I think what might happen is that it just, uh, you know, the big boys, the, you know, the criminals, <laughs> they just want the stop loss cluster there before, you know, before we move higher. Don't forget what I was saying about the dollar and um, this. This is a big deal. Okay, so... A 50 basis point hike is a big deal, and that puts it more hawkish, or as hawkish as the ECB. So uh, for a battle of the central banks, this is actually putting the dollar in quite a good footing. Uh, so fundamentally, you know, we can we can probably come down and get the SLC. We're quite close. So, uh, yeah, I keep saying be careful every day, and I do mean it. This, we are entering a very volatile um, business if you're trading for a living. It's very easy to lose money, um, but you have to remember your risk management. That's that's absolutely vital. Uh, 
We're looking at dollar CAD. <laughs> it's just horrible moves. Look at that. It's just horrendous. <laughs> one above, uh, 13480. Monthly pivots now resistance. Below the weekly open, we have to target the SLC. We're on it now, 13411. Actually, just below. Because we got that below, it's not even worth really even considering. It's only 13 pips away. So don't look for a short for that. Potentially look for a buy. But I wouldn't be bothered with that. If you had MP as your SL, it's not even a one to one R. Yeah, it's less than a one to one. It's 19 pip stop loss, 17 pip TP. <laughs> so for me, I would not be trading this one. Uh, lots of um, sellers have come in. So that tells me that's going to be a support. These guys are normally wrong and they shouldn't be allowed to profit. So um, that's actually very interesting. There's a big old spike of sellers of dumb money who've sold the dollar CAD. So that should be a support. And I think what might happen, that could be a scenario where we get the SLC above. Um, what's this? And uh, we've got a quiet calendar tomorrow, which is really nice. Uh, one above at 9290 and one below, uh, probably right below there, right? It was yesterday. Ah, uh, they moved it lower. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's there now. Okay. Uh, they've moved their stops a lot higher, which is good because otherwise they'd probably undergo enormous losses. So it's good their stops a bit tighter. 92.19. And uh, like I said there, so weekly open, uh, 92.73, target the SLC. Below the weekly open, Target the SLC, and that looks likely because we've got a confluence of the monthly pivot and stop loss cluster for a bounce. So that's possibly what's going to happen. Dollar yen, and um, I was trying to sell this yesterday, and I got stopped out a lot. Um, See, so looking at it from an hourly view, you know, it looked like it was falling, but I was looking at a small time frame. So you've got to be careful if you're scalping. You have to remember to occasionally zoom out. And look at your hourly H4 daily because you know you've got to remember the five minute, 15 minute time frame isn't that doesn't give you that much information, it just tells you short term things. But you know, looking at the longer term, bigger picture, I could have probably made my stop a bit wider and I'd be in nice profits by now. But I got stopped out because I was trying to scalp it short. So these wicks took me out quite aggressive wicks. Uh, but that's fine. But just a case of just remembering, you know, don't fight the bubbles because the dollar was strong yesterday and the end was weak. I was trying to fight the bubbles, which is stupid because I, I designed them. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just one of those things. And it's possibly a case of uh, zooming out to the H1, H4 daily and also pay attention to the bubbles. Don't disregard them, especially if the dollar is way over here and the yen is over there. The dollar is, is going to strengthen or... Or counter you know we had that move yesterday that explains that dollar yen bubble deviation and of course now we're falling but I think this is likely potentially going to be fake uh, because of that fundamental stuff from uh, that CME Fed watch tool here and I guess it all depends on pal as well because what pal says is going to impact this likelihood that probability a lot uh, SLC above 13290 and uh, 13150. And just lastly, before I wrap up, do know that things are moving a crazy amount. Look, that, there's the yen, for example. Yen was over here. And now what's happening is it, the yen is strengthening because they're selling it. And if they sell it, it's going to push the bubble down here. So, uh, very interesting, actually. That hasn't normally the yen's way over here, but they're changing their bias on the yen now. So, uh, it just moves a hell of a lot. So if you can, keep an eye on your bubbles, but do note that they change and fluctuate a lot. So you want to keep it on like a, a secondary screen if you can, and then you can just like, you know, flip back and forth. But you would probably want to be looking at the bubbles, you know, and they do make you quite a bit of profit. There's the Euro Oz. And uh, Euro Oz. All right, you see if you'd woke up three hours ago, two, three... You'd be in profits. You'd be in quite nice profits. So that's it. So I'll wrap up now. Be careful. We've got power later. And just, uh, you know, a little bit of tips and tricks and stuff. And if you are scalping, remember to look at your bubbles and also to zoom out as well. It's really important. And uh, went a little bit of a loss, but it's all um, manageable. 
because I had my stop loss and I knew my size as well. So have a good day and I'll speak to you guys soon.